Community College for the opportunity to share about my experience at the school for my PhD program. To be honest, I didn't think I'd get this far in graduate. Uh, I often haven't felt good enough, smart enough, or talented enough. Almost every year that there's been a graduation service, I've been here to celebrate the graduates and ask the PhD graduates, how did you get here? Uh, to be honest, if I had to encapsulate my time here at the college and how I was able to get here, it comes down to four words. The grace of God. Grace is all about favor we don't deserve, and I'm one of those people. How about you? God's grace has been manifest through God's forgiveness of sins, of course, and what I believe is God's call to PhD study, which ultimately brought me here to the, Div the Divinity College. This school has been about academic, rigorous work for God's glory. The classes were fantastic, where we got to interact with people of various disciplines. Um, I had to study for comprehensive exams, where I got to think deeply and study deeply about subjects that are important to me, and also understand what the desert wants me. I felt like uh, being in isolation for a long period of time. <laughs> Uh, and for my dissertation, I also had the opportunity to, to study a, a subject very deep and close to my heart, the experience of the Spirit in Pentecostal corporate worship. Uh, that was all about research, writing, and revisions. Say that again, research, writing, and revisions. Say it again, you know what I'm talking about. But it's all about God's grace that allowed me to persevere and allow many of the other graduates, all of them, to persevere. That's been key. We must also say that the academic rigor hasn't been just about becoming an academic snob. As Dr. Mark Boda once highlighted in my class in Biblical Theology and the light bulb went off, we are here about scholarship for God's kingdom. It's been about scholarship for God's glory, not my own, not yours. God's grace was manifest through the great faculty, staff, and students who attend the school. On behalf of the students, thank you faculty, you've been fantastic. Dr. Stephen M. Studebaker has been my primary supervisor over the past few years, and he's been down to earth, humorous, and willing to do whatever it takes to help me succeed and help me bring out my own voice in my academic work. Thank you. It's been awesome. Uh, Dr. Heath, my secondary supervisor, always encouraged me whenever I see him. Uh, Dr. Knowles, not only offered insights on preaching, but to offer even just pray with me individually, and his prayers were on target, spirit-led, so much so that my eyes were watery at times because the Lord was leading me. Uh, so many others, Dr. Stanley Porter, whose incredible publishing efforts inspire us all to write for the benefit of others in God's glory. Dr. Zilla, Dr. Boda, Dr. Peterson, Dr. Wendy Porter, and many others have been great. And to the administration, uh, I have to especially point out Nina Thomas, who does whatever she can to make this place great and great. The grace of God has also been manifest in family and friends who have supported me. On behalf of the graduates, family and friends, if you're here, thank you. You've been amazing. Thank you for the love. You two have done so much to help us get to this place. My parents have now been to four post-high school graduations. This is number five for them. And they're still smiling. Uh, they have supported, sacrificed, prayed, and encouraged us so much. Thanks. My wife, Joyce, as well, has married me right in the middle of my PhD. Little did she, or me, knew exactly what that was going to mean. However, she still was a huge, massive support, listening to my ideas about theology and the church, giving feedback, praying, loving, sacrificing, and more. My son came around last year, and he too kept me going. As soon as I walked in the door from researching and writing, he'd see me and take whatever toy he had and flung it against the wall. The paint, the chips, the, the paint came off. However, he took it to the wall and came passionately running into my arms. That sort of stuff keeps you going. Thank you, Josiah. My entire family and friends have been huge. My sisters, one's here. My nieces, one here as well. My nephews, my in-laws, and friends. Thank you. God's grace has and is amazing. Thank you all, and congrats, Roger.